Good morning, Pierre. Hi. Thank you for accepting to be a part of 73 Questions with HKUSD and show us a day in your life. My pleasure. Okay, let's start then. How are you feeling today? Honestly, great. Another awesome sunny day. Yes. How is life at Hall 7? Couldn't be better. What is your favorite part of living there? Honestly, the views that I have to, that I wake up to every morning. Amazing. Okay, what about your least favorite part of it? Uh, the fact that my house doesn't have that view. <laughs> we'll have in the future. <laughs> um, do you like to live on campus? Yes, especially the fact that I get to walk to class within 10 minutes. Amazing. How would you describe HKUSC campus with one sentence? Uh, never fails to amaze me. Wow. Where are you from, by the way? Um, from the beautiful city of Bangkok, Thailand. Oh, wow. What are the differences between Hong Kong and Bangkok? Um, Hong Kong is quite fast-paced and also there's a lot of diversity and the fact that I need to wear a sweater during winter. <laughs> what is the best part of living in Hong Kong? Um, the fact that I can go and explore different things like hiking, go to the beach and lots of food. Mm -hmm. What is the best part of living in Bangkok? Um, getting to see my parents every day and I can actually eavesdrop on other people's oh. conversations. <laughs> Do you like the whole life here? Yes, I get to live with my friends basically. Well, that is fun, I must say. Compared to your initial expectations, how different it is to live on campus in HKUSB Hall? Well, I expected um, to be living in like a cramped apartment block and I honestly did not expect this sea view. Oh, wow, that is good to know. Where on campus do you like the most? Um, I love the seaside, the barbecue pit. Is that where you go the most often? Um, yeah, to chill. Nice! Okay, since we are right in front of it, I have to ask. The pool or the beach? Um, the pool when I want to swim as a workout and the beach when I want to chill and relax. Where on campus do you like to exercise the most? Um, the track field. What do you usually do on a normal day on campus during summer? Well, um, I work on my research project and if I don't have anything much, I just go and explore the city. Then where are you heading right now? I'm heading to the Engineering Commons to work on some things. Amazing! Sounds fun! Well, we'll catch up with you during the day later. Alright, see you! See you around! Oh, hello again! It is Hi. so good to see you here. Yes. Since I caught you around the Engineering Commons, I can ask you a couple questions related to academics. Sure. What is your major? I'm in Aerospace Engineering. Why did you choose Engineering? Uh, well, because I love planes. Oh, okay. Then I'm not gonna ask how did you choose your major? Yeah. Um, but for all these, why did you choose HKUSD Engineering? Well, first of all, it's in Hong Kong. It's a great mix of culture, tradition, and innovation, mm -hmm. and also exchange opportunities. Exactly. How would you describe HKUSD academic life with three words? I'd say never give up. Mm. <laughs> what is the hardest part about academics here? Um, the fact that I need to keep up with all the other amazing students here. <laughs> How do you deal with this? Um, honestly, I just keep on working and just don't give up. Exactly. Never stop blaming yourself, bro. <laughs> what advice would you give to your fellow USD friends on this topic? Well, I think just try your best and no matter what the results come out as, um, you will know yourself that you already tried. Exactly. Okay, what about the best part of studying in HKUST? Um, the fact that I get to meet all these amazing friends and people. <laughs> what is one aspect of HKUST that was the most attractive for you? Honestly, the aspiring spirit, you know, to be a university under 30 years old and be in the top 30, now that takes aspiration. That is so impressive, I agree with you. For people who are considering to come to HKUST, what would be the first thing you want to show about here, for this, like about this university? Honestly, the views from every single angle. <laughs> okay, enough compliments for now, I guess. What would you want to change in HKUSC? Um, I think I, would, I just want people to maybe enjoy the experience a little more, maybe care less about grades and maybe just try to find fun experiences. Yeah, I agree, but like, how would you change that? What would you do for it? Um, I think more extracurricular activities, um, mm -hmm. you know, maybe some nights at LKF, who knows? <laughs> yes, I like that one. Is there any other feedback you would like to give back to HKUSD? Um, maybe that bell curve. 
<laughs> we all suffered from that. <laughs> what would you not want to change about HKUSC? Um, that aspiring, innovative spirit. Mm -hmm. I know you have just finished your first year here. How would you describe your first year? Um, I'd say it was the time where I met a lot of amazing people, had unforgettable experiences, <laughs> and uh, what an eventful year. Yes. What is one unforgettable memory from this year? Uh, well, aside from hanging out with you, I think <laughs> uh, when we had some drinks at Seafront and ended up going to swim in the ocean during sunrise. Oh, that's amazing. What lessons have you learned from this time period? Um, just to never take anything for granted. Mm. What was the hardest part of year one? Um, when all the classes turned online and I couldn't find any motivation to study. Mm. What was the most fun part? Honestly, meeting all these new people and just exploring Hong Kong. <laughs> yes. What will you do differently in the future, let's say in year two? Um, maybe not to get out of my dorm at 10.20 for my 10.30 class. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, I see that you're moving to lab right now. Do you want us to join you? Sure, if you want. Yeah, that's amazing. We definitely do want that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, this place looks insane. I guess this is where the magic happens. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so is this the lab you use for your Euro project? Yeah, I normally come here to do some computation and stuff. Mm. Can you explain Europe to us a bit? Uh, well, okay, so it stands for Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program, and basically you get to do research in your undergrad. Oh, wow. What is your Euro project topic? Um, what I'm working on right now is um, how aircraft design and air transportation interact and affect each other. Wow! How did you choose this topic? Um, honestly, it had the word aircraft in it and <laughs> basically just went on from there. Mm. Can we say that aerospace or in general planes and aviation is your passion? Yes, that is a fact. <laughs> cool. How did you discover this passion? Uh, well, I had the chance to fly a lot when I was little and mm -hmm. I basically, my interest basically shifted from the TV screen to the engines and the wings and all the components. That is amazing. Then what did you do afterwards to pursue this passion? Well, I applied for engineering at HKUSC <laughs> and now I'm just working on a research topic. Good one. What advice would you give to students who are trying to find their passion? Honestly, just try everything don't be afraid to try and mm -hmm. you know keep an open mind and you'll end up having a good time that is amazing then let's go back to talking about your europe project sure um so how does a europe project work like can you give us more information about the steps and the flow yeah so basically first you look through the project listings and you find which one might interest you and you just contact the supervisor um apply for it, get approved, and then you start your research work where you gather information, design and perform experiments, and then finally you write a final um, research report. That sounds it. great, yeah. yeah. So which stage are you on right now? How is it going so far? So right now I'm just um, gathering information right now and just mm -hmm. researching about my topic um, in a more deeper context. Okay, but what is the hardest part of working on a Europe project? We have to know that part, I guess. Um, yeah, so you just gotta <laughs> stay motivated, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, there's no set schedule, so you just basically gotta keep yourself going. Self-discipline is the key for Europe. Yes. <laughs> what is the most fun part of working on these kind of research projects, though? Um, well, you basically get to work with what you love, mm -hmm. and you get to work with other people who share similar passions with you. Can you talk about your specific research project and topic for a while, assuming that we would actually understand? Sure, yeah. So basically, what I'm working on is finding the link between aircraft design and air transportation. Mm. Uh, so basically, right now in the world, aircraft design is like one industry and air transportation is another where there is quite l like little um, linkage between the two. And I, and I just thought that, you know, 
uh, there should be more of a link now that you see that the world is shifting towards a more fuel efficient air travel. So the two should probably work together. Do you understand? Um, surprisingly, that? I understood and I'm amazed. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Any suggestions for students who want to do Europe in the future? Yes, um, honestly, just don't be scared to ask around mm -hmm. and, you know, just keep, keep in contact with your professors. What would you say to encourage students to do more research? Well, um, what we learn right now in a traditional education is basically we're given whatever is already there to mm -hmm. just for us to digest. But research is that you're finding your own knowledge, you're finding your own education. Or discovering new worlds. Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, what do you think about HKUSD's researches and the research atmosphere around here? Honestly, um, there's a lot of support. Um, there, You can see here that you know, the facilities are awesome and yeah. I can honestly just do anything I love and they will always support it. That is so good. What do you think about the opportunities um, that research projects have in HKUSD? Um, you talked about that like, you can find many support around you. Um, and do you think that people are taking enough advantage of this? Um, well, I see some people that take advantage, but I think more people should um, take advantage of this opportunity. Yeah, because I, like, we definitely have amazing people around here and definitely. what you're doing sounds so cool. I'm a business student, don't understand, but <laughs> definitely we should keep up with the spirit. Yeah. What would be a good way to introduce students to research? Um, I'd say a way to do that would be just start reading some research papers, start mm. um, diving into the interests that you have and just look, uh, look through. Okay, I'll do that. As a research university, HKUC seems to be a great hub for students to do research Definitely. in a free and resourceful environment. Yes. So let's not keep you any longer. We see that you're busy. Yes. Um, do you want to grab you. dinner later? Sure, actually. Yeah. Okay, then I'll see you later. All right, see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, long but a beautiful summer day, huh? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, now let's grab something and close the day off. Yeah. Amazing. But I'll continue my questions. What is the go-to place for dinner on campus? Honestly, I come to Hungry Korean or mm -hmm. American Diner. Nice. What do you usually order in Hungry Korean? I love the bibimbap, the beef one. Ah, same. <laughs> what is your favorite local Hong Kong food? i say uh, cha siu fan. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite Thai food? Pad ka pao. Mm. <laughs> Do you have a favorite restaurant in Hong Kong? Um, not at the moment, but I'm still on the search for it. Mm -hmm. What about a favorite place in Hong Kong that you would love to go to? Victoria Peak. Oh, I've never been there still. <gasps> you should come. <laughs> what, would be, what would be the spot in Hong Kong that you would absolutely suggest a tourist to go? Um, I'd say, honestly, any hiking trail. The view is breathtaking. Yes. yes. How would you describe Hong Kong's nightlife with one word? Um, wild. <laughs> so, do you usually go out with friends or just stay in and chill on campus? Um, that depends on the mood, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. LKF or Wan Chai Uh, can't I have both? <laughs> sure. I bet you didn't enjoy the last time you went to LKF with me. No, we had a great time, well, but okay. somebody had a little <laughs> too much to drink. Amazing. Will we go again soon? Yes, definitely. Super. It was so nice to catch up with you and get a close look at your life here in HKUSC. We'll hope to see you around more. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Thanks okay. for having me. <laughs> Thank you.